Hello everyone, as you may or may not know, the Whisper of the Worm exotic mission is finally back in Destiny 2 after a almost 4 year hiatus, with a sweet exotic sniper rifle that is craftable now. But why does the worm whisper? Perhaps you've been playing Destiny 2 for a long time or are new to it and know little about the lore behind weapons and missions, you might want to stick around and I will do my best to explain the lore bits in a summarized straight to the point manner. My name is Tavius and let's get straight into it. The Whisper of the Worm To help understand this weapon, we must first have a general understanding of the sword logic, and I could go for hours trying to explain its origin with the Hive in the Books of Sorrow, but I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna say this, becoming stronger by killing weaker beings. This principle was heavily adopted by the Hive since even before they were Hive. Think of it as their religion. If you're weak, most likely you will be killed and you form a bond with your killer an unsacred union between destroyer and destroyed. Now what does this have to do with the gun and the worm that whispers? For that we need to go back to the fundament where the hive are from. The traveler had chosen the krill as worthy of the light as we all know, but deep within the fundament there was five worm gods trapped by the traveler and the leviathan. Those worm gods made a pact with the witness to infect the krill with darkness worms and have them serve the darkness just as they were about to receive the light, forcing the traveler to leave as they were no longer, let's say, eligible. One of those worm gods was called Zol, the weakest of the five. Zol feared that one of his worm brothers would kill him and, by the sword logic, become strong enough to face Oryx, the Taken King. So he fled Fundament together with Nocris, the least favorite son of Oryx. They made a pact and headed for a new world to rule, landing on Mars during the collapse. On Mars, the Worm and Rasputin detected their presence and trapped them frozen deep on the Mars surface for centuries, until the Traveler reawakening and Warsats crashing all over the ice surface released them. This is when the Guardian comes in to quote unquote end Zol at the end of the Warmind campaign. But Zol's death was not his ending. Drawing power from the Sword logic, Zol transcended physical death and spoke to the Taken on Io who began to worship him resurrecting Taken champions to serve the Whispers of Zol. This was all part of Zol's plan for immortality, to live forever and feed off the sword logic the Guardian would practice by using Zol as a weapon. The Guardians then are called to investigate the increasing Taken activity on Io, and we defeat the high rank Taken champions in the Whisper mission to receive the Whisper of the Worm Exotic Sniper Rifle. Zol has transcended death and now lives and feeds off the killing we as guardians do with a weapon. There is a lore page attached to the weapon I will read for you now, but first I want to thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, a simple like will help the video so much. My name is Tavius and the lore page reads, Zol, the will of thousands, perished but was not destroyed. Death is a road, death is metamorphosis the unsacred union between destroyer and destroyed. The mighty which defeats a god is also the ambrosia that god craves, the meat sweet logic of existence asserted by violence, the binomial decision between two ways of being which deny each other. In dying, Zol fed richly. Now came Zol unto the taking upon Io, who fed Zol with plunder and tried to make of it an idol and a commanding will. Yet Zol was bound joyously to the very logic that sustained it in its death. It wanted the sword proof, the single proof. It wanted to become a rule which divided the mighty living from the mighty dead. So it whispered the anthem anathem, the temptation to dominate the objective universe with a subjective will. It said, I shall be an engine to make your desire hegemon over your condition. It said, wield me and use me to test your foe. This was its worship. Ayat. 